Hello beautiful people, it's Davina from the London Curls and I am back with my much anticipated Violet Skies tutorial. As you can see, my hair is purple. Well, actually, it's purple in some lights, some not. So this is gonna be an interesting tutorial and review because I do like it, but I've also got my reservations. So if you want to see how I got my hair to this purpley, grapey, slightly pinky shade, keep watching. Okay, so if you follow my Snapchat, you know I've been off school a lot, but I am the queen of covering my face in makeup to cover how ill I am. So this was me on Friday after school, and then as soon as I got home, I got changed into my less glamorous clothes ready to dye my hair. So, what I did first of all was I used my purple shampoo by Bleach London as well, had a little boogie as I was doing it, scrubbed it into my scalp, and then I left it on my hair for about half an hour just to try and get some of the colour out but also to leave a bit of a purple colour anyway and then I mix Violet Skies with my go-to favourite deep conditioner to mix it with which is of course the 10 in 1 conditioner by Sheer Moisture as you can see each week I'm using less and less of the Sheer Moisture with it because I want the colour to be more intense so after washing out the purple shampoo this was a shade it wasn't that purpley but it was kind of you know purplish I dried my hair with a towel slapped on some of the gloves and then I just started applying the color so as I did last week I decided to um, apply the color around the edge the back and um, the sides first because I find they're the parts of my hair where the color fades away fastest and then I just rubbed it through the rest so then the cameraman decided to start playing about with me so yeah that happened and then as always I took my tangle teaser and I just brushed it through and this was the end of the result so I styled my hair unfortunately I did say that I was going to show you a tutorial on how I style my hair in a curly style when it's short but I lost that film so as you can see all I do really is I apply the same products I always do which is the leave-in conditioner by Sheer Moisture, the Jamaican black castor oil one I find a parting and then I just rake through the gel so I smooth it on one side the gel and then I use a brush to smooth it round the edge and then I literally rake it through with my fingertips on top just to keep it curly and smooth it down at the back and sides and that's pretty much it but if you want a tutorial like and leave a comment below because I'll be happy to talk you through it. Now three days later I was surprised by ta being taken to a hotel on Valentine's Day after spending a lot of time in hospital over the weekend so not looking too great and then I applied more of the dye because it had faded and this is my final result. Right hello beautiful people I'm going to try and keep this relatively short because the sun is going down so I'm starting to change colour <laughs> So I'm trying to get as much in as possible. But yeah, this is the finished look. Please do not pay much attention to how I styled my hair. As you could see, the second time that I touched up my hair, I was in a hotel. We had very little time to get out. So the whole styling process was cut down to all of about one minute. And you know I need a good five to get it done. So yeah, it's kind of gone into a, a bit of a mess. But that is, that's neither here nor there. You can see the colour of it. What I really like about this is that on the one hand, like when I move my head around, it's lots of different shades. So it goes like a bluey indigo -y colour, like lilac y, because obviously it's lighter than indigo. But then it kind of it changes. However, that's one thing I like, but it's also one thing I dislike because on at the back, I feel like it's much darker, more true to the colour here, like purpley. And then it's definitely faded back to pink or pink hair near the back so I'm not too happy about that especially because this was the colour I was most excited for I want to make it last as long as possible I've been trying with the silver conditioner like using that just to spray over my hair because obviously I don't want to keep washing it with shampoo because it will strip the colour because it is purple as well but it's still not maintaining the colour too well which is a tad infuriating but still as well as that as you can see bearing in mind that I got my hair cut last Thursday it's now Monday yeah 11 days it's grown so much this was a skin fade this was a skin fade how has it grown so quick <laughs> i'm happy but at the same time it's like i don't want to get overly obsessive with going to the barbers but when it's constantly doing this I'm, it's difficult not to but i don't have time i don't have time to go to the barbers now because today's monday tomorrow i'm off to germany to see franklin so i'm going to be filming that as well but it means that I won't be able to go to a barber's until perhaps, hopefully, on Saturday. So I get back on Friday. Um, Saturday, I've got like a little get together going on for my birthday. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to get it cut or at least that it'll be 
not looking completely unruly by then, but we'll see. So, yeah, not the best situation to be in, but I stuck to my word with Justin. It'll be two weeks without going to the barbers, so little win for me. But um, other than that, I am still enjoying the purple-ish. I just wish it would last longer, so I might maybe but purchase a full-size bottle of it because I do really like the colour and I don't feel like I've had enough of the purple. But we will see. Not enjoying how dark it's getting, so I'm going to have to call this short. But as I said before, make sure you stay tuned because I've got lots of things planned. Obviously, it's my birthday next weekend. I will try my best to get a video up. I know that this video was late, it was supposed to go up at the weekend, but I've been so ill. Like, I was ill all of last week, so I was off work a lot of the time. There was no time for me to actually dye my hair midweek, so that meant actually filming and everything was pushed back, so then I couldn't film, I couldn't edit, so now it's late and now we're in a situation. But I apologise for that. <laughs> and I will try, once I get back on Friday, to get another little thing together but we'll see i can't make any promises but i will try my best so thank you for bearing with me and i will of course try and get out to you the little surprise gift that i've got planned as well but again when that will be i am not sure but still okay anyway have a lovely half term if you're on half term from school and i will see you soon bye oh and of course let me know what you think as always purple like yay nay let me know Bye.